Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. I'm your host, Brian Perry, here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Ironically, the third theme park built here at the Walt Disney World Resort. But do any Hollywood Studios rides make it into our countdown between numbers 40 and 36? Well, it's time to find out now by starting with number 40. Let's listen to the land we all love. Nature's plan will shine upon. Listen to the land. I know for a lot of people, what gets their blood pumping at theme parks are high-speed roller coasters and out-of-this-world thrill rides. But for me, no. It's educational greenhouse tours via slow-moving boats. That's right, coming in at number 40 on our list of the greatest attractions in the history of Walt Disney World is the icon, the legend, the hopefully immortal, living with the land at Epcot. Disney describes their dark ride as follows. Discover a cornucopia of fruit and veggies from around the world, some modified to jaw-dropping effects on this eye-opening tour that teaches you about the history and future of farming. Quite riveting, I know. Opened with the park in 1982, Living with the Land went by a different name, barely. Listen to the Land was essentially the same ride you know and love today, but featured a different initial scene. Today the ride starts with a thunderous rainforest. However, in Listen to the Land, instead of hearing thunder, guests heard a Listen to the Land theme song. It was written by the same writer who wrote this hit that we all love. America, spread your and while the song from the American Adventure is certainly a hit, it doesn't quite compare to Listen to the Land, which honestly should have gone platinum. Take a listen. Just make believe you're a tiny little seed. A tiny little seed that's reaching up to meet your need. With the right amount of faith and the right amount of earth. You'll grow to see the sun shine on your day of birth. Let's listen to the land we all love. Nature's plan will shine upon. Listen to the land. Listen to the land. Don't get me wrong, living with the land is phenomenal, but because of that song, I'm going to change the countdown and say that Listen to the Land is actually number 40. Nothing quite says fantasy land like a couple of flying elephants. Actually, make it 32 flying elephants. Coming in at number 39 on our countdown is the instantly recognizable Dumbo attraction from the Magic Kingdom. Originally opening with the park in 1971, Dumbo's simple ride system featured 10 ride vehicles that took guests on a high-flying adventure over the original Fantasyland at MK. Eventually, the 10 vehicles became 16. That 16 became 32 when New Fantasyland opened in 2012, debuting a brand new Dumbo ride to sit along the relocated original. Water features were added to the new version of the ride along with an interactive queue where kids can play while guests hold pagers that will prompt them when it's their turn to ride. Pretty cool. Despite its simple ride system, there's no denying that the mere sight of a Dumbo ride vehicle instantly represents Disney parks throughout the world. In fact, the ride is such a signature of the parks that it is one of the only attractions to be featured at every single one of the six Disney theme park resorts throughout the world. The classic Dumbo ride system has also spawned duplicate rides with different theming, such as Aladdin's flying carpets over in Adventureland and Triceratops Spin at Dinoland USA. In the world of Motion Trans Center, we go beyond the present and look at the future of transportation. Long before guests reach 64.9 miles per hour aboard Test Track, they traveled through Epcot's transportation pavilion at a much slower pace. 
Like our number 40 attraction, World of Motion opened with the park on October 1st, 1982, and told the history of transportation. For those unfamiliar with the Long Gone Ride, think about how Spaceship Earth describes the evolution of mankind and society, and now replace that with a whimsical look at the history and achievements in transportation. Everything from the invention of the wheel all the way to present day 1996, and even a glimpse at the future, were part of the ride that stood for 14 years. A lot of money used to create World of Motion came from its sponsor, General Motors. GM had signed a 10-year sponsorship deal with Disney, partially in a move to compete with Ford, who ironically had sponsored another Disney Omnimover attraction at the 1964 World's Fair in New York City. The ride consisted of 30 scenes depicting the transportation timeline and included gags sprinkled throughout more than 100 animatronics. World of Motion represented such a vital part of the original plan for this city of Epcot. Walt Disney's passion for creating the transportation of the future via monorails and people movers was evident on all of his renderings for his Epcot Center City. Including a transportation pavilion with a top-notch ride was a necessity when the company made the call to build Epcot the park rather than Epcot the city. Sir, the possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1! Never tell me the odds. In 2019, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opened at both Walt Disney World and Disneyland. The company decided to open the highly anticipated area in a phased approach. Rather than waiting for the completion of the e-ticket level Rise of the Resistance, the new Star Wars land at Hollywood Studios would first open Oga's Cantina, quick service options, merchandise locations, and our number 37 ride on our countdown, Millennium Falcon, Smuggler's Run. For nearly any other theme park, Smuggler's Run would be considered an all-time classic. For Disney, however, it's heavily overshadowed by its bigger, more advanced, next-door neighbor, Rise of the Resistance. Smuggler's Run gives guests the ability to hop aboard the famous Millennium Falcon from the Star Wars franchise. Broken up into teams of six, riders ultimately end up in the cockpit, flying the hunk of junk themselves. Two guests are pilots, two guests are gunners, and two are engineers. The ride experience is heavily affected depending on which job you are assigned to. Pilots, for example, get to put the ship into hyperspace, which is an awesome sensation. However, gunners simply press a button over and over. Either way, the innovation and interactivity the ride possesses add to its unique charm. The motion simulator ride is made up of several simulators mounted on a turntable, hidden from guests, that rotates to expedite wait times. The attraction's queue includes a tremendous animatronic of the ride's main character, Hondo Onaka, and a recreation of the rest of the Millennium Falcon that Star Wars fans are sure to appreciate. With the attraction's roots found within the nearby Star Tours attraction, Smuggler's Run is a great example of utilizing advancements in technology to build upon an already successful ride system. Olé, olé, it's go time. Did you know that Disneyland's version of the Tiki Room was the first attraction to feature audio animatronic technology? Let that sink in. Rides like Haunted Mansion and Pirates of the Caribbean don't exist without the technology found in the small little birds in the original Tiki Room. Eight years after opening over in Anaheim, the Tiki Room came to the Magic Kingdom on opening day in 1971. Originally titled Tropical Serenade, Magic Kingdom's bird-filled show beckoned guests to sing along with a lively menagerie of exotic birds, flowers, and tiki statues. Today, over 225 choreographed audio animatronics perform in Adventureland as guests sit in the small theater. Tropical Serenade was renamed the Enchanted Tiki Room in 1993 and then replaced in 1998 with the Enchanted Tiki Room under new management, which included Iago and Zazu from their respective Aladdin and Lion King films. The new version drew mixed reviews, and in 2011, a fire caused severe damage to the roof and the Iago animatronic, thus closing the show. Disney then decided to revert back to its original version to satisfy guests. 
Now standing for over 50 years, the show and its hit song remain as one of Disney's most famous offerings. For the Tiki 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 Room is a true pioneer.